I'm honestly kind of impressed. I didn't think that with rear wheel drive we'd get up this far, but I'm excited to see if we can actually make it the rest of the way after we get some chains. What's up guys, it's Chad with Living the Van Life up here in Washington. We woke up to some snow here this morning in Bellingham. Talon actually just came into town, yep. and which is an awesome opportunity to be able to show him the Pacific Northwest here. And now Talon's up here to uh, come and take over the channel from here. It's my first time being in Washington State, and it's beautiful, man. I, I think I'm pretty lucky to get to see it like this. Couldn't ask for better conditions for filming and exploring. I'm excited for the rest of the trip. Some of you may know me, some of you may not, and just a brief summary is that I'm a YouTuber. I've been making videos for basically my entire life. I'm out here today to work on this project with the guys here at Trayvax, and we have a lot of very fun stuff planned. Today we were supposed to be out on a boat, but unfortunately the winds were pretty high in the morning and it would have been a little dangerous. When some things don't work out, other opportunities kind of bring themselves to light, like Chad. If we were out on the boat, I would not have gotten a chance to meet him and talk about his van life and everything that he has going on. So I love all of these opportunities that kind of present themselves on trips like this. And there's a lot of stuff coming up, so hopefully you guys are ready for it. I'm jealous you get to live here all the time. And I have no, like if I really truly wanted to move here, there's nothing really holding me back. I could totally do it if I wanted to. Yeah. So That's the thing that blows me away is like the freedom that it unlocks I think is pretty dang awesome. And you're like next level freedom, living in a van, like yeah. going wherever you want, whenever you want. That definitely helps to just point the steering wheel and go. I did grow up on the East Coast. I'm a Pennsylvania kid. I played structured sports all throughout high school and everything, and then I fell into the love of skiing. So I've been freestyle skiing for a while now. That really took over my life, and that is what actually made me want to start making videos. This week is actually going to be three years of me working on the Talon Sci channel. There's a pretty sweet lookout up over here called Samish Lookout that we should try Sandwich lookout? Samish. Oh. Samish. We haven't sandwich. had lunch, so I'm thinking <laughs> about sandwiches. Yeah, definitely. Got his. Have you had them? Uh, just probably gonna get regular. You know, Have you tried the stupid out before? No, I, I <laughs> you know, value my bottle. <laughs> I think we're kind of like racing the clock right now, so hopefully we can make it. But if we don't and run into some issues, that also makes for good content. So it'll be good either way. It's uh, that could get a little bit sketchy. That's all right, we got BFGs, we got snow chains, and two-wheel drive. Nonetheless, we're trying to make it up there by sunset, so it's a race against light right now. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of impressed. I didn't think that with rear wheel drive we'd get up this far, but I'm excited to see if we can actually make it the rest of the way after we get some chains. This is turning out to be more eventful than we thought. So one thing kind of went to the wayside, but now they're trying to put chains on Chad's van so we can make it all the way up to the top over the lookout for some golden hour shots. So hopefully we get up there. I feel like we should be helping. <laughs> we can just watch that. <laughs> we can just watch.
pretty unreal. <laughs> and I know you guys see this all the time, but it's probably still pretty impressive for you as well, right? Yeah. So not only is pursuing something like this super fulfilling for myself, but it's also very cool to be working with a company like Travax who has more than just very high quality products, but they actually have a meaning behind what they do, the company, their vision, the people they employ. All right, guys, that's it for day one, episode one of this five-part series. If you want to stick around and see more, make sure you do subscribe to the Trayvax channel. We have a lot more cool adventures coming up soon. Leave a comment, leave a like. We appreciate all of that. It helps us out. And I think that's it for now. So we will see you guys in the next one. Six, right? I mean, I'm guessing we're gonna have to go like six to 8,000 feet to get over the top of that layer. Yep. This is gonna be fun.